evening to you. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Monday night. Tonight, it's the undefeated Grand Rapids Rise, the last undefeated team in the Pro Volleyball Federation, hosting the Omaha Supernovas. Dan Hasty, along with my partner, Katie Olson. KO, this team went out and made a statement in their last game, taking down the Atlanta Vibe on the road. Yeah, they did. That's not something easy to do, going to a powerhouse like Atlanta and taking them down. That was fantastic to watch. Now we have Omaha here. I'm really excited for this game. Let's take a look and give an idea as to what you think the keys to this one are, because Atlanta is good. So is Omaha. They're the mecca of volleyball in America. Yeah, definitely. I think Omaha has, we're going to see a lot of defense here. Kendall White at the Libero, she was the defensive player of the year multiple times in college, along with Tori Dixon up there at the front. She's been the blocker player of the year for multiple different times overseas. And so I think on our side, we have Sarah Sponsel, who is a beach player turned indoor. And I mean, she covers so much court on our side. We're also seeing Marin grow up there and Kayla Caffey with the block. So I think it's going to be a very gritty defensive game. Not only that, and you mentioned this too, there are Olympians on both sides in this matchup. We think about whether they're representing America or representing some of the other countries. As soon as the Paris Olympics in 2024, I know there's a lot of All-Americans here, but what's different about it when it's an Olympian? Oh, I mean, it's just the next level. You are now representing, you're putting that jersey on, you're representing your country. It's just an amazing feeling for those girls. So now they get to come back to the States and play in front of their friends, their families again. And it's kind of a weird situation here. You get to play against your teammates. There's a lot of familiarity in a matchup like this. We'll take a look at our starters now as we get you ready for the rise and the Omaha Supernovas. First, for the visiting Supernovas, coming at two and one, Sydney Hilly, one of the better setters you'll find in all of this country. The native of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, will be joined by the libero, Kendall White. Brooke Nunaviller is one of the outside hitters, middle blocker, Tori Dixon, the native of Burnsville, Minnesota, who also was a golden gopher during her college years. Jess Shaven Landsman, another outside hitter and also KO, one of the very best in the world, Bethania De La Cruz. And she's the one you put a star next to when you're getting ready for the Omaha Supernovas. Yeah, definitely. She has had so many years of experience. I think she is upwards towards 16, 17 years of pro volleyball. That's just insane. And now bringing her, she's been playing overseas, bringing her to the States to play. We're going to see an exciting match. She is definitely a veteran on that court out there. I think Omaha really relies heavily on her. What is it about De La Cruz's game that makes her so dominant? Just everything that she has in her toolbox she's able to not only powerhouse that kill but come in with a soft tip she can place the ball phenomenally and her serve something about that top spin serve is very hard to pass so for your grand rapids rise it's important when she's back on that service line to side out quickly let's get a quick listen in to the remainder of the starting lineups for this contest as it is announced down low by schmitty Rise come in at 2-0 on the season. They are undefeated this year. And now they're taking their talents to the Omaha Supernovas. They beat the Atlanta Vibe and actually made them the second to last undefeated team after Vegas lost the following night. But tonight, we see the Grand Rapids rise, their second ever home match. We'll take a look at their projected starters and the ones they flow out to the floor. Simone Abbott, the outside hitter, seven years of experience and native of Northville, Michigan, Kayla Caffey. Claire Shaw saying one of the best in all of pro volleyball. Amelia Dimitrova, who had an outstanding performance in the victory over the Vibe on Friday. Ashley Evans is the center, the member of Team USA. Marin Grote, the former Washington Husky, and Sarah Sponsel, the libero, wearing the blue jersey for the Grand Rapids Rise. So there's a look at the starters for Kathy George's team. And as you just heard in the previous conversation, you couldn't write it up any better to start off her career with the Rise.
Good crowd continues to file in here at Van Andel Arena. Claire Chasse getting ready for first serve as the rise worked from left to right. She's ready for volleyball. We hope you are. It's the rise and the Omaha Supernovas on a Monday night from Grand Rapids. Chasse spins it in her left. A jump serve with her right. Handled a reception and pounded over. And it just sneaks in. Or did it? Still waiting to find out who got our first point. Maybe Volt 6 Technology will tell us and it's an Omaha Supernova's point. That one right on the line. Right there, that's what ma makes Betty De La Cruz so good. She's able to just paint that line with that cross shot. De La Cruz is one of the very best. A serve for Valentine Anderson in Omaha. A great dig and a point goes to Grand Rapids. And we're tied at one. That was a great read by Brooke, Brooke Nunaviller back there. She won, she had over 2,000 digs in her collegiate career. Expect a lot of defensive movement there in middle back. Kayla Caffey to serve. Standstill serve to the back row. Right side, dug out by Grand Rapids. And it floats out of bounds. Wide right, point. Omaha, it's two to one in the first set. As you notice, Christina Yukova, she just got picked up by Omaha there with that kill. Bethania De La Cruz with her first serve of the night. She's ready to let it fly from the near side on the left. A jump serve. Reception by Grand Rapids, but mishandled. Shank out of bounds and it's three to one Omaha. There's that power on that jump serve I was talking about earlier. It's really important for your passers to hold that platform and maybe sit back a little bit so it doesn't go over that net. De La Cruz, after her race, puts a right hand in, and it's into the net. A service error gives the rise a point. Three to two, set one. Now to serve for Grand Rapids is Amelia Dimitrova. What an outstanding performance she had in crunch time in the victory over the Vibe on Friday. Puts her left hand into it, skims the top of the net, dug out there, and a chance handled by Grand Rapids. Evans with options. It's tapped over and it's a point. Grand Rapids gets it courtesy of Dimitrova. There's that back row attack. When you utilize that back row, it really has to keep your defense on their toes, not knowing where this ball is going. Great choice by Ashley Evans. Evans has so many options in that front row. Dimitrova to serve. And slammed over the net, and a point right at the net as it was slightly mishandled, and Simone Abbott made Omaha pay for it. Make it 4-3 Grand Rapids in set one. Three straight points for Grand Rapids. Dimitrova looking for a fourth. Left hand in, reception by Omaha. Handled by Grand Rapids. Evans puts it towards Abbott in the far corner. Dug out there by Omaha. And out of bounds it goes. Last touch by Grand Rapids. Chasse couldn't get towards it in the back corner, and we're tied at four. Beautiful high hand swing by Brooke Nunaviller. Nunaviller, member of the 2023 USA national team. Now to serve, it's Christina Vuchkova. She's playing in the Chinese League, making her debut tonight. Tapped a whistle. And a point as a net infraction gives the rise a 5-4 lead. Omaha a little bit too close to the net that time. And now Simone Abbott gets a chance to serve from the far corner. Five dribbles, a spin of the ball in her hand. High arcing serve. Handled Omaha looking to set up. And they get the point. Marin Grote got a piece of it out in front, but they weren't able to send it back where it came from, and we're tied at five. Jess Shaben Landsman, the outside hitter and former LSU Tiger, to serve. Throws a right hand in, and it's a little too long. A service error, and already the second one of those for Omaha. 
And as Katie Olson will tell you, you don't want more than about three of those in each set. No, you definitely don't. It's just giving the other team some free points. Marin Grote to serve with the right hand from the far corner. Dug out by Omaha, they receive. Their attack at the net blocked by Grote up front. And now another chance and another block. That looked like Ashley Evans and Kayla Caffey to give the rise a two-point lead. They really did a great job of closing that block, turning their hips back into six and pressing over. Really gave Grote nowhere to go. Grote to serve once again. Handled by De La Cruz, Omaha on the near side with the attack. Block, Evans setting up a back row attack and a diving stop by Omaha. They put it in the near corner, almost a free ball of sorts. Evans looks to set it up for Simone Abbott and her shot a little too long and out of bounds. Seven to six, the rise lead goes down to one over Omaha here in the first sets. Brooke Nunaviller, the three-time All-American. All-American both as a libero and an outside. This serve, pounded with the right and a little too far onto the Grand Rapids Rise logo. Just beyond the out-of-bounds line to our left, and it's eight to six. Grand Rapids extends their lead to two, and Ashley Evans gets the serve for Grand Rapids as they work from left to right. A long run-up as she floats it over with the right hand, Omaha. Looking for the back row, and that one a little too long, and the Rise have a three-point advantage. It's 9-6. to six. It was an early start for Omaha, but the Rise have responded. Yeah, right now, Omaha is just making a few too many hitting errors. So it's really just giving the Rise a couple of free points right now. You did see the setter switch. We do have Natalia Valentin Anderson setting instead of Sydney Hilly today. So I think they're just trying to get into a rhythm. It looks like we have a challenge on the court, so on that touch, we'll see what we have. They're gonna look and see if Grand Rapids may have gotten a piece of that on its way down. So they will defer to the video department. And I will tell you this, of all the different innovations that this Pro Volleyball Federation has enlisted for the liftoff of this league, whether it be the Bolt 6 technology or this, the replay, I gotta say, I really like how they handle these sorts of things on the floor. Yeah, it's so great. The these are fun. Yeah, the camera system really, like you can actually see the fingers move if there is a touch. Doesn't look like there is. It looks like we're gonna have a no block touch, I believe. They're playing it on our screen right now. I do not see her finger move. What do you think, Dan? They are looking at it exceptionally close, but I think KO's got this one right. Nine to six, Grand Rapids keeps the point. And Omaha, more importantly, loses one of their two challenges. Evans to serve. From the middle of the backcourt, puts it in De La Cruz's wrist. She gets a chance at an attack, and it's handled there by Sponsel. Far side, Chasse blocked. Kept alive in the back by Sponsel. A free ball goes to Omaha. They set up towards the middle, a dink shot, and it goes down for a point for the Novas. Tip right over, that was very smart from Brooke Nunaviller in the back row, just over that block and right in front of Ashley Evans. Danielle Hart, the former Wisconsin Badger and national champion to serve. Goes up, throws it across with a right hand, and now Grand Rapids get the quick sneak attack courtesy of Kayla Caffey, gets a 10-7 lead. Kayla Caffey is just so quick on her feet and getting her arm up super fast, and it's able to get past that block. Claire Chasse serves from the far side in the left corner. Throws it up, and a little too far. A service error by Chasse makes it 10-8. Grand Rapids' lead goes to two. Set number one here in Grand Rapids. Big crowd here on this Monday night. Opportunity for Omaha. Pounded across, handled by Sponsel. Far side to Petrova, blocked but out of bounds. Point Grand Rapids making a three-point advantage for the rise. 11 to eight here in set number one. 
Kayla Caffey gets a chance to serve for Grand Rapids. Floats it across. De La Cruz on the service reception. Gets a chance to tap it over, and she will. She knows exactly where the personnel are on that other side of the floor, and she knows how to take advantage. She'll serve here with her team down by two. Bathania De La Cruz with a chance to serve from the near corner. Throws a high arcing shot. It's dug out there into the net. Evans keeps it alive and a nice job by Groat to keep it going. Back to Omaha. A chance and it's blocked, but it's out of bounds. None of Iller makes it 11 to 10. Grand Rapids' is the lead goes to one. Boy, that De La Cruz serve seems harder to handle than some of the others. Dale Cruz with three bounces and a high arcing serve. Towards the far back corner, handled by Grand Rapids. Evans puts it near side. Dimitrova sends it to the hard one and a point for Grand Rapids. It's 12 to 10 in set one. Great placement there by Amelia Dimitrova. She was able to get it just past Kendall White in between her and Betty. That leads us to Dimitrova, who gets a chance to serve. Dimitrova soars it across. De La Cruz on the service reception. Quick shot, handled by Grand Rapids. They set it up for Chasse, and it's saved by Omaha. Opposite side attack, Sponsel keeps it alive. Evans sets it up, and it's saved by Omaha. Kendall Miller outside play in the back row. Meanwhile, Abbott able to send it down. Kendall White unable to get it on the second attempt, and it's a three-point rise lead. That play right there all started by Emilia Dimitrova's defense. She actually dug Kristina Yukova, and guess what? They're both from Bulgaria, so they have seen each other growing up. They go way back. Dimitrova to serve. Throws her left hand into it. De La Cruz handles for Omaha. They put it in none of Eller's hands. Nearly pancaked on the left side by Sponsel, but it got the floor first. Point Novas, it's 13 to 11. The rise lead is two. This gives Kristina Fuchkova the opportunity to serve. Across it goes. Evans with options. Grote with a little dink shot handled there. Omaha puts it in the middle of the floor. Save there. Sponsel, a back row attack for Chasse, and it's blocked right in the middle. It goes down. A point for the Novas, and the rise lead is one. We're seeing a lot of great block touches by both teams. Now the defense needs to come through and be able to stay on their feet and really play these balls that these girls are working so hard in the front row to get those touches on. Another chance for Vuchkova, making her PVF debut tonight. On the other side, partially blocked as the Rise couldn't get it down to the floor. Sponsel saves it on the Dale La Cruz attack for Omaha. And a block that goes out of bounds and the Rise Stop the Nova's run to make it 14 to 12. You mentioned Vuchkova, and it's Rise assistant coach, Denis Dimitrov, who coached the Supernova's middle blocker on the Bulgarian national team and has been doing so since 2019. So Vuchkova is very familiar with multiple members of that family. I would say he would have a little insight there for the Rise. It's advanced scouting at its finest. Abbott got it across and then saves it on the attack. Evans for Chasse, pounds it down. Air Claire gives the rise, a three point lead. What a shot by Claire Chasse, being able to be off the net that far and still pounding it hard across. That was beautiful. Textbook. Rise are the first to 15. We've got a timeout here at Van Andel Arena. It's Grand Rapids 15, Omaha 12, right here on Rise Radio.
Grand Rapids with a 15 to 12 lead over Omaha from Van Andel Arena. An opportunity for Simone Abbott to serve. It goes too far and it's out of bounds. Welcome back. 15-13 Grand Rapids over the Omaha Supernovas. Dan Hasty, Katie Olson from Van Andel Arena on this Monday night. Just Shaman Landsman with an opportunity for Omaha to serve as Chasse with a little dink shot that falls and Omaha gets a point taken away. The Rise get a three point advantage thanks to their outside hitter extraordinaire. That gives the serve to Maring Grote in the far corner. Jumps, swats it with a right hand a little too far and we're noticing a few more service errors here in the first set than we've seen before. Yeah, just a little, little long on both sides, we're seeing. Brooke Nunaviller to serve for the Novas. Pushes it across. Evans looking for Chasse. Saved by Omaha, and it comes right back with Chaffee, who pounds it through. Point, Grand Rapids. That's exactly what you want to see as a teammate from Claire Chasse. She Gets that hard swing overpass. Kayla Caffey is able to put that away. Just a really big momentum builder there for the Grand Rapids Rise. Caffey's killing it right now. 13 kills with two attack errors on 21 swings. A team high 462 attack percentage. Evans gets it across in Omaha looking for De La Cruz as she hits it just inside the back line. It's a point for Omaha. De La Cruz's ability to play in the last five feet of the court is truly great. Those balls are so hard to read and your movements have to be so quick in that middle back for those deep shots. Danielle Hart, the native of Virginia Beach, gets it on the other side. Chasse can't make it go down, but Kayla Caffey gets it at the net and the rest is easy. 18-15 Grand Rapids. Yet again, another hard shot by Claire Chasse. Put away by Kayla Caffey. That gives Chasse an opportunity to serve. Grand Rapids works from our left to our right. Chasse on the far left corner. Three steps, jumps in to her serve. Handled by Omaha. They go to De La Cruz, partially blocked. Evans keeps it alive. Sponsel, Gulkin looking for Abbott. And down it goes, Simone Abbott gives the rise a four point lead in set one. You're really starting to see the Grand Rapids Rise take advantage of that shorter block in the front row with Natalia Valentin being only 5'8 and our outsides being a little bit taller over there at Simone Abbott 6'1. It's very vital to their offense to go ahead and really use that block. Timeout Omaha. It's 1915 Grand Rapids. We'll keep it right here from Van Andel Arena. Katie, right now, Grand Rapids, their first set kind of looking like their first sets of their previous two matches. How have they been able to get control out of the gate the last couple of times, including tonight? I think the setting decisions is a huge part of that. Ashley Evans, like I was talking about just right there, going after the shorter block on the outside is really, really hard to defend on Omaha. With Simone Abbott going over that block, it's challenging for them. So I, I would expect you see a little more of that and a little more middle play. Now on Omaha's side, you're just seeing too many unforced errors. There's a couple of attack errors that are just going a little too long. Uh, Betty De La Cruz has been pretty silent. So I would expect a little more from her and a little more middle play. This is a three-pronged Grand Rapids attack. All guided by the Team USA setter, Ashley Emmons. Three different players have finished with double-digit kills in the four-set victory against Atlanta. Simone Abbott with 16, Claire Chasse with 12, and Amelia Dimitrova with 12 as well. It's Chasse to serve for Grand Rapids. Spins it in her right and pounds it across. Handled, Omaha looking for none of Eller. Saved by Evans, Sponsel to set it up from the back row. Put across by Chasse, but Omaha handles it. And they shoot it down and they find a little bit of room in the near backside corner. 19-16, the Grand Rapids lead is three. 19-16 in set one. Natalia Valentin Anderson, a native of Puerto Rico, who played her college ball at FIU. Jumps into a serve with a right hand, handled there by Chasse. Evans looking for Chasse. That one goes down, 
I think it caught the line. They give the point to Grand Rapids as it hit the near edge. Yeah, you saw Kendall White there turn. She did, definitely did not think that was in. Back corner it is. And I guess the question now is, is that if there's any question with those sorts of things, of course there's technology to answer a question like that. But Omaha only has one challenge remaining after losing one here in the first set. Here's a block, and it's saved by Omaha momentarily. But Dimitrova gives Grand Rapids their biggest lead in set one. It's 21-16. This is an Omaha squad that lost to Atlanta on opening night before shutting out San Diego in straight sets. And then a loss against Vegas. Cappy's serve ends up off the net, handled there by Grand Rapids. A chance on the near side, a block. Chasse digs it out, and Grote unable to swing the left hand to get it over in time. The Novas get a point. 21-17 Grand Rapids in set number one. Betty De La Cruz. She serves for Omaha. The mecca of volleyball in the United States. Shoots it across, Chasse handles it. Evans looking for Abbott. It's dug out there, De La Cruz. At the net, Nunaveller blocked. Evans keeps it alive for Grand Rapids. Sponsel looking for Evans again. Instead, it's Dimitrova. Omaha receives. They look for Nunaveller again. Her shot, too strong. Out of bounds, long. Grand Rapids gets the point. It's a five-point advantage. 22-17, Grand Rapids in set one. And a timeout. Taken by, I believe that was Omaha. Here in set number one. Well, and then there was one with the Vegas Thrill falling three to one to the Orlando Valkyries on Saturday the 10th. The Rise now the only undefeated team left in the Pro Volleyball Federation through eight league matches played. We were just kind of talking a little bit about this, Katie. Betty De La Cruz, kind of the pillar of this Omaha Supernovas team, but Omaha is also the pillar of volleyball in the United States. Yeah, we saw or earlier this year with Nebraska playing on their football field. They had over 97,000 people there. It's just so impressive for the game of volleyball. And the Omaha fans, if you've ever been to Lincoln, Nebraska for one of those games, I can tell you if you're not cheering for them, it is not a fun time to be there. What is it about Omaha that has allowed volleyball to cultivate so much in that area? You know, just the past years, the culture that they've built at the university of Nebraska, they've been so successful. They've been to multiple national champions. They've won most, multiple national titles. Right now, it's just expected of them to be there. Makes sense that it's where a Big Ten team is located. <laughs> yeah. Amelia Dimitrova to serve as we return to live action for Grand Rapids, who are closing in on a set one victory. And I believe we may have had uh, looks like we might have blood on the floor. Yeah, They're coming a little to clear blood that. on the floor. That's <laughs> right. So we'll get that situation straightened out. Told you it was going to be a gritty game. This is a blood sport. <laughs> we know that. No surprise there. <laughs> Kathy George has to be happy with what she's seen thus far. And I would imagine probably not a whole lot of changes from her first two matches. No, um, I believe that they have a pretty strong starting squad right now, and they're just learning how to mesh together. And even just in talking to Kathy George, the Rise head coach, about that, you understand how important continuity and chemistry are to her and to her team. Yeah, with the game of volleyball, it's really important. You can't just play as an individual. You really have to be a cohesive team to be successful as evidenced by their first road win. Dimitrova serves it across with the left hand reserve there. De La Cruz, Nunaviller knocked away, and a point for Omaha. Check that, that was Jess Shaven Landsman on the right side up against the net. Yeah, she's been quite some talk this year. She actually retired from volleyball, went into coaching at a local high school, and here she is. Christina Vuchkova to serve for Omaha. 
Puts it up into the far corner, and it's an ace. It goes down. Had a little extra personnel in the back far corner. Chasse and Abbott. An ace for Omaha when they needed it. A little bit of a communication error there by the GRIs. Uchkoma punched over at the waist. Throws it high and sends it to Abbott. Evans looking for help. Dimitrova puts it at the 10-foot line. Handled there in the middle. And a block. It's out of bounds off Grand Rapids and a point for the Novas as they try to make this a contest here in set one. They've got three straight points. That was a great play by Brooke Nunaviller. Her ability to swipe that ball off of the block on that inside tight set. Grand Rapids' lead is two, 22-20 in the first set. Vuchkova to serve, looking for a fourth straight Omaha point. The rise trying to defend against it. Evans to Dimitrova, blocked in front. Four straight for Omaha, and we've got a contest here in the first set. 22-21, timeout, Grand Rapids. We'll finish out the first set when we come back here on Rise Radio. Olsen, the final moments of set number one. Grand Rapids trying to do what they've done in each of their first two matches, and that's get off on the right foot by winning the first set. But right now, the Omaha Supernovas are being exactly that. Four straight points. Christina Vuchkova to serve as Omaha looks to tie it up for the first time since it was 2-1 to one after Grand Rapids had broken a 1-1 tie. Abbott gets it near the 10-foot line. She gets it teed up. It's blocked. Chasse puts it in the middle. Evans looking for Abbott again. Blocked. Out of bounds. Point. Grand Rapids. And they stop the run for Omaha. Their lead is two. Abbott comes out. Shannon Scully comes off the bench to deliver the serve. Kathy George raves about her consistency. Pats it down, jumps up, sends it across, just barely dug out. Omaha sends it to the far side, handled by Sponsil. Evans going backside for it. It's saved momentarily. De La Cruz puts it towards the net. A little dink shot handled there. Evans for Chasse, blocked, saved in the back row by Marin Grote. And another chance, Grand Rapids gets it through. That looked like Chasse and the Rise have match point here in set number one. It's set point for the Rise. Scully to serve, sends it across. Handle near the 10-foot line. A chance blocked. Sponsel keeps it alive. Evans for Groats. It's down on the floor. And Grand Rapids wins its third straight first set in team history. 25-21. Grand Rapids a winner over Omaha in set number one. Set number two on the other side of this timeout. Good start for Kathy George's squad. This is Rise Radio, presented by University of Michigan Health West. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com volleyball. 
from club or high school courts to championship arenas, Spalding has been the trusted partner of volleyball players for generations. Our team of dedicated professionals isn't just about selling equipment, we're about supporting your journey. Spalding offers a comprehensive range of high performance systems, nets, and accessories meticulously crafted for every skill level, budget, and playing style. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Spalding's knowledgeable staff will guide you, equip you, and cheer you on every step of the way. or at least in this case is set. But the Rise got off to a big early start. Omaha kind of tested them there at the end. How was how were the Rise in this case able to figure that out? You know, speaking with Kathy George earlier, she spoke very highly of Shannon Scully and how her ability to just calm the court. I felt like the Grand Rapids Rise got a little nervous there in the end. We were seeing a couple of tight sets, a few missed kills, a couple of missed digs. You put Shannon in, she came in level-headed and able to throw Omaha off with that serve, and then they were able to pull it out. We start the second set here in Grand Rapids. The Rise, one of seven teams taking the court in the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation. It was the Grand Rapids Rise that actually, in some ways, kicked off the PVF. They were the first team to enter into the Pro Volleyball Federation. A league now whose head coaches have combined for more than 2,500 career wins. And Kathy George, well, she's probably got the lion's share of those. She's over 600 career victories at her various coaching stops, of course, most notably with Michigan State. Omaha serves to start off set number two. It's handled by Chasse with the reception. They put it out front. Abbott dug out there. That's Kendall White. And an attack at the net, blocked momentarily. Omaha takes it back, De La Cruz. It's saved in the back row by Abbott. Right side for Chasse. Save Omaha once again. That was White to De La Cruz. Sponsel keeps it alive. Evans looking to go back row. Dimitrova. Watches her team take the first point of set number two. Was Omaha a little bit too close to the net that time, K.O.? Yeah, it looks like Betty De La Cruz just must have nicked that net. They watch that so closely. And even the head coach on the other side, that's Bird Coon. He's coaching at Texas A&M before coming over to the Pro Volleyball Federation. She's the interim head coach. Chasse serves and a chance at the net. And it's touched once again by Omaha. A net touch gives the rise a 2-0 lead. And now Omaha looking not too happy about it. Yeah, so a player from the other side is not allowed to break the plane of the net while a setter is setting. So they're arguing that we might have gotten a little too far over. Chasse throws it to the near side corner. None of Elder has it on the right side up against the net. She gets it down and the Omaha Supernovas get their first point of the second set. A little miscommunication there with Christina Bukova, you'll have that with a new player, middle, and a setter connection. 
Betty De La Cruz, a member of the all PVF first team of the preseason variety, gets an ace. And she serves it and it lands just in front of the back row as Chasse had a little trouble handling it. She brought some heat there with that serve. I think if Omaha had their way, they'd have Betty De La Cruz back there just about every time. She is so dangerous pushing it across. Throws a high arcing right-handed serve. Handled by Sponsel. Evans has it out front. It's pounded down and a point for Grand Rapids. That's courtesy of Simone Abbott and it's three to two GR. Sponsel comes out. Kayla Caffey to serve for GR. Little too long, a service air by Caffey, and we're tied at three. Caffey gets a break, Sarah Sponsel in the blue libero jersey comes back in for GR. Vuchkova with a serve for Omaha. Floats it up, gets it across, Chasse handles. Evans looking far side for Abbott. It's a little bit too long, and the Novas have their first lead since it was 1-0 in the first set. It's 4-3 Omaha. Rise with their first deficit. Buchkova was playing in the Chinese League most recently, making her debut tonight. Evans going backside for Dimitrova. Handled momentarily, but it goes out of bounds on the backside. It's a point for GR, courtesy of the 17-year seasoned pro, Emilia Dimitrova. Dimitrova to serve for GR in the near corner. Throws it slightly up, sends it across reception. De La Cruz at the net, pound it over the rise, answer it with Sponsel. And it's a kill from the back row. Looked like Claire Chasse giving the rise a 5-4 lead. That breaks the tie for now. Dimitrova with her second straight serve. Pounds it across into the net. Service error. We're tied at five. Pushes us to the other side. Jess Shaben Landsman. Serving for Omaha from the right side near the middle. Handled there by Abbott. Evans throws it across. Grote. It's dug out there. And Omaha able to sneak it in on the near side line. It's a point for the Novas, and it's six to five. Grand Rapids is down one. Shaman Landsman. Serving once again. Across it goes, and too strong it goes. Out of bounds. It's very important for both teams to really be aggressive on those serves, but you're seeing just them, they're slightly missing by about two feet. It's not a large margin for air. Simone Abbott with a chance. The former Northwestern Wildcat sends it over. De La Cruz gets it. It's pounded, saved there. They set up Chasse, Sponsel keeps it alive. Abbott sets it up near the far back row and it comes across. Omaha with essentially a free ball. They poke it across, giving it back and a chance for Grand Rapids. A block out in front as Abbott tried to get it through and instead, that was Danielle Hart, the former Wisconsin Badger, thinking it's seven to six Omaha. Danielle Hart is so great at her ability to move and read where the hitter is going and pressing and taking that away. Serve comes to Grand Rapids. Evans looking for Chasse. A little tap over. Handled by Omaha. They want De La Cruz. Grand Rapids tries to send it through. They do. But Omaha was ready for it. And there's a block out in front for GR. Mayor and Grote ties us up at seven. And now Grote heads to the back row to serve for the rise. Aaron Grote, the All-American. Spins it in her left and slaps it over with her right. Handled by De La Cruz, but 
all the way to the back row. And De La Cruz has to essentially tap it over. Free ball there for GR. Evans trying to surprise everybody. Meanwhile, the Rise get it back. Evans with a back row attack, partially blocked. Omaha with options at the net. And out of bounds it goes. Last touch by GR. Point for Omaha. Might have been none of Iller. Yeah, really like that she went after that middle blocker when they are in the back row. Since the middles do serve in this league and there's no libero serving, it's really important that they play defense. Danielle Hart serves for the Novas. Soars it over. Puts it for Evans. Looking for Chasse. Handled by Omaha. They give it to De La Cruz, who sends that one 100 miles an hour. Save there at the rise with Chasse. Put it across. They're looking for De La Cruz again, and she gets it down just inside the near line in the corner, and it's 9-7 to seven Omaha. They've got their largest lead at 2. Danielle Hart serves. Handled by Abbott. Evans at the net. Tied up. Omaha gets it. And a block out front by GR. And maybe a net infraction as well. They had Chasse and Caffey teaming up. And it's 9-8. to eight. The rise deficit is 1. Now Ashley Evans, who had the first serve in rise history. Trying to tie us up at nine. Pounds it over. Omaha looking at the net. And down it goes right in the very middle. Christina Vuchkova makes it 10 to eight Novas. Really love that set choice by Natalia Valentin Anderson. Pushing those middles, forcing them when you're out of system. So anything past that 10 foot line, the other team automatically retreats to one of the pins. So I think that was a beautiful choice. 10 eight Omaha with a two point advantage. Valentine Anderson for Omaha serves it over. And on the near side, Dimitrova pounds it through, and Omaha can't do anything with it. Give the rise a point. The deficit is won. 10 to 9, Omaha on set two. Claire Chasse serves near the Franklin logo. They work to the right. Handled Omaha, looking for De La Cruz. Partially blocked, Sponsel handles. Evans looking for Caffey. Omaha receives it. White near the net, tied up. Opportunity for GR. Over it goes, and down it goes. Right at the front of the net, and we're tied at 10. Maybe it was Kayla Caffey in the middle. We're seeing both sides just scrambling on the court to keep this ball alive. It's great defense. Chasse jumps into a serve as we're tied at 10. Kept alive and a block at the net, but Omaha recovers. Free ball for GR. Dimitrova, Evans, Caffey saved by Omaha, but out of bounds it goes. And the Rise have their first lead since the early stages of the second set. It's 11-10. Three straight points for Grand Rapids. Chasse, the good luck charm in the back. And now Air Claire trying to add on to a lead. Pushes it over and it goes long. Out of bounds. We're tied at 11. That puts the serve back to Betty De La Cruz and the Omaha Supernovas. De La Cruz has already had a couple of aces to this point. Sends it a mile high and shoots it down for another. Well, that almost looked like a slider in baseball. That thing had some downward action. And Chasse had a tough time getting to it, and you can understand why. 12 to 11, Omaha. Almost doesn't even feel like it's headed in one straight direction. Felt like it had English. Here it is again. Sponsel able to handle this time. Evans looking for Abbott, and it falls on the hardwood. It's a point. We're tied at 12. Simone Abbott from the far corner. Really nice shot, that thumb down just in front of Kendall White. Kayla Caffey, the former Texas Longhorn and national champ to serve. 
Floats it over. Omaha looking on the opposite side. It's handled there by GR, but out of bounds it goes. Point for Omaha. That was just Shaben Landsman on the outside, making a 13-12 Novas in the second set. Kristina Vuchkova, the native of Bulgaria, to serve. Pushes it over, Chasse handles. Evans looking on the near side, Dimitrova partially blocked. Omaha keeps it alive. They go to the near side, Nunaviller blocked. Abbott sends it skyward. Evans towards the left side, Dimitrova finds the empty space and the rise of Titus up at 13. Such a sharp angle there by Amelia Dimitrova. Natalia Valentin Anderson has been doing a great job so far of diving into that deep seam and Amelia being able to notice that and cut it into that one-two seam, that was great. Dimitrova to serve. Gets it to the back row, Omaha receives. They go to Nunaviller, partially blocked. Grand Rapids looking for Abbott. Saved in the back, what a play by Kendall White. Now Omaha able to take advantage. A point for the Novas, what a play. Yeah, definitely a beautiful play by Kendall White. We have not said her name too much in this, in this game so far. I think the Grand Rapids Rise, they're doing a great job of keeping the ball away from her. She's such a strong defensive player. She'll really get the Omaha Supernovas going. Jess Shaben Landsman, the outside hitter to serve for the Novas. And I think she actually put that one into the back of the head of one of her own teammates. Service there, tied at 14. Everyone move out of the way. Simone Abbott to serve on the other side, throws it a mile high, puts it down, and it's an ace. That one was right to the floor. Definitely had to go to bolt six to check that one out. Rode the line like a pro. 15-14, the rise of the first to 15 for the second straight set. Timeout here in Grand Rapids. This is Rise Radio and TV on YouTube. This is just a one minute break. in downtown Grand Rapids. It's set number two, Grand Rapids, and the rise with a 15-14 lead over the Omaha Supernovas. Dan Hasty, Katie Olson. It was Omaha that had the first match in Pro Volleyball Federation history. They brought out over 11,000 in a sellout in their building. The rise also sold their building out as well on night number one, 78-05. And tonight, those who have been treated are making some noise. Simone Abbott serves for Grand Rapids. Off the top of the net, saved there by Kendall White. On the other side, Grand Rapids handles the attack. And now Chasse sends a free ball over. Omaha with Hart gets it saved by Sponsel. Evans helps get it tapped over with Abbott from the back row. A block out in front. De La Cruz setting it up. Saved on a great dig from Abbott in the back row. Omaha. Left side of the net, dinked over as Nunaviller sends it over Evans and Grote. And we're tied at 15 as she gets it to land. This has certainly been a much tighter contested second set. It wasn't until the late stages of set number one where Omaha made a run to get back into it before the rise pulled away. But in this set, it's been very much back and forth 
And if anything, the Novas have kind of controlled the tempo in this one. Yeah, you've seen a lot of gritty defense from both sides. The ability to cover off of a block and get a recycled play out of it is just textbook. Serve for Nana Veller. On the other side, Chasse sends it down, and Nana Veller can't do anything with it. Point Chasse. Air Claire gives the rise the lead. Marin Groats, the former All-American, a native of Burbank, California, floats it over, wide handles for Omaha. Quick set, and instead, it falls in the middle of the rise defense. We're tied at 16. Great job in the very middle by the Supernovas. Yeah, what a nice setter dump there by Natalia Valentin Anderson. She saw that the defense was released backwards and put it right down in zone three. Native of that Puerto Rican national team. Omaha pushes it over. Evans going to the near side. Dimitrova block. Chasse able to recover. Evans right back for Chasse. Block. Caffey keeps it alive. Sponsel for Chasse. Too strong. Out of bounds. Last touched by Grand Rapids at this time. But I think we're going to get a Kathy George challenge here. Yeah, it looks like she wants to challenge the touch on the block there by the swing of Claire. Chasse. Let's take a look and see whether or not Omaha got a piece of this one. This is one of the more suspenseful parts of any Pro Volleyball Federation match. It's where we all look to the video board. We all look to see all together. And it's much like you find, for example, in the NFL, where an instant replay happens. And now we're getting finally a look at whether or not this may have hit. Yeah, and as a player, you know, you're always taught in the middle of the game on the other side, did you touch it? You lie straight to their face. But now with the bolt stick system and the ability to really hone in on the finger movement, the ball speed, everything, ah, you don't want to tell your coach I didn't touch it and waste a challenge. Looks like she, in fact, did not touch it. Kathy George does lose that challenge. Call stands. Omaha has a 17-16 lead. Grand Rapids looking to set it up near the net. Omaha with two players to lay out to keep it alive. Evans for Chasse, puts it through, and the pancake attempt comes up empty. The rise ties it at 17. That right there, that's what we call power tip. Claire Chasse reaching up high and really throwing it down. It's not a little soft tap there. She's putting some power behind that tip. Ashley Evans to serve from the very center of the back row for Grand Rapids. Floats it up, steams it across, handled by Omaha, going to the opposite side, and a point for Omaha as Chasse tried to knock it down. Looked like Shaven Landsman from the right side up against the net, 18-17. The Novas have been playing with the lead in the second set more than they haven't here in this second stanza tonight. Shaven Landsman, or check that, Valentine Anderson serves. A block near side, handled by Omaha. Valentine Anderson, what a play by Sponsel to dig it out on the attack. Looking for Chasse, and she puts it down. We're tied at 18. Claire Chasse, coming up in the big moments. What a surprise, we're all tied up. There is no better feeling for Sarah Sponsel than when you get a great dig for one of your teammates to be able to put that ball away. Chasse looking to give her team the lead in the second set. Rise up 1-0 tonight. And her set hits the top rope of the net and caroms down. Service error. Second one of the second set for the former ACC Player of the Year. And the Novas take a 19-18 lead. Betty De La Cruz back to serve for Omaha. Up it goes, pounds it with the right hand. Sponsel keeps it alive. Evans going the opposite way. And Dimitrova sends it out of bounds, but did it touch a supernova? Dimitrova was making her case. And we'll get another challenge. Grand Rapids does not want to see their lead, or in this case their deficit, balloon to two. So this is a pretty big call, KO. 
Yeah, it is. And Amelia, she's one of the most greedy players you will see out there. She wants to win more than anything, so. And they just know, won the challenge. She definitely, she knew that ball was touched. She says, I'm not losing this point. That ties us up at 19, and at this stage in a set, that's a big deal. Yeah, we only have six points left to get to 25 on either side. Right now, it's very important that you stick your course and you're not afraid to take these big swings, big serves. Kayla Caffey to serve for GR. Right now, both the head coaches, Kathy George of GR and Bird Coon, getting their personnel set. Caffey with a two-hand bounce, floats it over the right hand. De La Cruz on the serve reception, right side. Papped up, Dimitrova shoots it into the official and an angry GR rise side, unable to get the point in the Novas, just continuing to hold that one point advantage here. There you go, you see some of that fire coming from Amelia. She knew exactly what Shaven Landsman was gonna do there. Christina Vuchkova to serve for Omaha. Sends it skyward, handled. Evans looking for Abbott with a little tap. Omaha keeps it alive. Looking near side, blocked, handled there. Valentin Anderson looking for an attack. Dimitrova keeps it alive. Evans for Abbott. Point, we're tied at 20 as Omaha couldn't do anything in the back row. It just feels like the Rise have been either tied or one point behind pretty much this entire second set. The yeah. only set they ever lost came in the second set against the Atlanta Vibe in their last match. It's no secret what winning two straight sets can do. Your squad in any of these matches. Dimitrova to serve. Gets it over. White keeps it alive. None of Iller. We get a net infraction on Grand Rapids, and the Novas take the lead back. It's 21-20 Omaha. You're going to see a sub here, Paige Briggs, who has been so vital to Omaha in the last couple games that they've played, and she's coming in as a serving sub. Native of Ortonville, Michigan. Not too far from Metro Detroit. Definitely think she has some family over there in the stands. They were all screaming at the beginning of the game. The cheering section, the former Western Kentucky Hilltopper, sends it over, and Abbott mishandles. It's an ace. What a moment there for Paige Briggs. The Novas go up 22-20. And it's a big mistake at this juncture. Briggs, another serve for the Novas. Pounds it through, but into the net. They giveth and they taketh away. It's a one-point match here in set number two. And we have Shaden Scully coming back in for the GRIs as a serving specialist as well. This is where everybody gets their best personnel in place. This is one of the hardest situations to come into as a serving specialist. You coming in, you're fresh off the bench, you haven't been playing for, you know, we got 21, 22 right here. You haven't been playing all game. Coming in, you're expected to really hit the zone that the coach is calling. Substitution, Caffey out for GR. And Shannon Scully comes back. Briggs goes to the bench for Omaha. And Vuchkova replaces her. Scully sends it over, and it's an ace. It's shanked by the Novas, and we're tied at 22. Right there, Shannon really coming in and doing exactly what she needs to do for this team. Both of these substitute servers coming up with big plays down the stretch of the second set. Scully moves it across. Handled, set up on the backside for Hart. It's too strong, it's out of bounds, and the Rise have one of their rare leads in set two. 23-22, and Kathy George is loving it. Timeout Omaha, we'll keep it right here. 23-22, the Rise just got down by two, late in set number two, and it was after that mishandled serve by Simone Abbott the Rise have picked a really good time to reel off three straight points. Yeah, I would expect the Rise also to keep going um, to the outside pin. You do see Nat Natalia Valentin Anderson. She did just come into that front row, and we've 
JR Rise has been really exploiting the fact that she's a little bit of a smaller blocker out there. And then on the other side, Omaha, Danielle Hart, she, she's been playing at such a high level. I would expect them to really use her or go to a back row attack. You know, Danielle Hart and Sydney Hilly, two Wisconsin Badgers, two national champions. What does that pedigree do? I mean, these have been playing overseas. These ladies have been playing in different areas. But when you have that national championship pedigree, what changes? Confidence. I mean, volleyball is a huge game of confidence. Whoever has more of it tends to just have better luck. Like, you believe you can do anything. You have Kendall White out there, also a national champion for Penn State. On our side, we have a couple of national champions. I mean, no one here is uh, is afraid of the fame. Scully sends it over with a rise up one. They set it up for Nunaveller, and down it goes to tie us at 23. This has the feeling of one of those sets that might not be over at 25. Rook Nunaveller to serve for Omaha. Can the rise respond? Evans for Chasse, and of course, you go to your very best in the rise. Put it to set point. Beautiful set there by Ashley Evans, getting it all the way out so that Claire Chasse has a clear view of the court. The Novas need a point to keep set two alive. Omaha takes a timeout. The rise have kind of felt like they've been on the ropes in this second set more than usual, but I think that just goes to show how well the Rise have been through two and a half games to this point. Yeah, they definitely have a cohesive team being able to really bounce off of each other. You see Amelia leading the way out there. She's such a fiery player. She's talking to all those back row players who are passing the ball, like Shannon Scully right after. She came up to her, tapped her on the back. You know, it's just great leadership there. These two teams know each other fairly well. Omaha's interim head coach, Bert Kuhn, was the head coach at Texas A&M up until 2022, and she actually brought in Rise player Camila Gomez from Miami Dade College. She did that back in 2019. Meanwhile, Ashley Evans, along with Supernova's Brooke Nunaviller and Danielle Hart, have both played and trained with the U.S. Women's Indoor Volleyball National Team and has qualified for the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, France. So you could easily see a number of players in this Pro Volleyball Federation. Here we got another serving sub coming in for GR Rise. You have Erica Pritchard. Erica Pritchard sends it out of bounds. Tough time for a service error. Pritchard comes out, Marin Grote comes back, and we will not see 25 points win the second set. Tied at 24. Danielle Hart serves for Omaha. Can the rise get their advantage back? Chasse handled by Omaha. They look for De La Cruz. It's too strong. It's out of bounds. GR gets the point. And Omaha, will they challenge? Certainly seems as good a time as any. They will. Betty De La Cruz looked to go down that line. We'll see if she... Got a touch on the block by Ashley Evans. And you know in that rise huddle right now, they're talking about one thing. Did you touch it? <laughs> it's like, ah, don't think so. But we will see. This is Omaha's a huge already point. used one of their challenges. So if they miss this, they're out of challenges for the rest of the match. And if they don't win this challenge, and this is why it's so pivotal. If they win this challenge, it's set point Omaha. If they lose this challenge, it's set point GR. The call stands. Grand Rapids has set point. Just barely missed Ashley Evans' hands. Ashley Evans to serve for set point. Over it goes, De La Cruz handles. Far side, pounded, saved. Sponsil keeps it alive, a chance for GR. Free ball sends it over. White 
Valentina Anderson, De La Cruz, block, Chasse keeps it alive, Sponsel sends it over, an attack at the net, and Omaha comes out with the point. That was a great play by Sponsel to keep it alive, but in this case, Christina Vuchkova sends it to a 25-25 tie. Yeah, great hustle play by GR Rise and great execution by Omaha being able to not let that free ball get over the net. Valentine Anderson to serve. Whoever gets this point comes in to set point. Spinning it in her left, hitting it with her right to the back row, Chasse. Evans looking near side, Dimitrova. Handled by Omaha, tapping it over. Evans keeps it alive. Sponsel looking for Dimitrova. Omaha with White going near side. Partially blocked. Chasse lays out for it. Dimitrova an attack opportunity. Too strong. Omaha gets the point, and it's set point for the Novas here in number two. Great idea there by Amelia Dimitrova. She hasn't gone line much today, just a little long. Now the Rise have to play some defense. Omaha with set point. one nothing Grand Rapids tonight. Valentin Anderson hits it over. Evans for Chasse. Down it goes. We're tied at 26. Air Claire saving the day. It will be Chasse to serve. Out comes Scully. Back in comes Simone Abbott for the rise. Chasse's had a couple service errors here in set number two. This time, she gets it across. De La Cruz, Omaha, get it right back to De La Cruz. Evans keeps it alive. Sponsel for Dimitrova, blocked, out of bounds. And the Rise take the lead. It's set point for GR. Dimitrova right now is doing a great job for the GR Rise of being that go-to player. You notice that she almost had three sets in a row in that one play, and now they are going to her out of system. Great job by Amelia. Can Chasse propel the rise to a 2 nothing set lead. Across it goes, saved at the net, kept alive. Evans looking for Dimitrova again. Omaha handles, Valentin Anderson. It's pushed over, Shaven Landsman. Evans looking for Abbott, partially blocked. De La Cruz keeps it alive. Shaven Landsman gets it for Sponsel who digs it out. Abbott blocked, Evans keeps it alive. Sponsel for Dimitrova. Blocked again, Sponsel sets it up. Amelia Dimitrova sends it long and we're tied at 27. What a back and forth with the set on the line. This is quite a battle to the finish here. Both teams covering, working their butts off, transitioning, hard swings. You're hearing the crowd in the background go crazy. Rise have been looking for Dimitrova a ton here down the stretch of the second set. Betty De La Cruz, who is an absolute cannon from the back line to serve for Omaha. Skims off the top of the net. Chasse handles it for Abbott. Blocked. Evans keeps it alive. Sponsel for Dimitrova. And she's got the point and the rise as we continue on in set two. Have set point. Really nice swing there by Emilia Dimitrova. Ability to go off those high hands pushing that ball pretty far off the court. Kayla Caffey to serve for the set. Over it goes. White handles Omaha. Looking for Nunaviller and slams it down to Tyus at 28. What a second set here in GR. Out comes White. Omaha gets Vuchkova, the newest supernova to serve. Whoever gets the point Gets it to set point. Vuchkova, skyward, handled. Dimitrova gets it down and the rise once again. Cue the lights, have set point. What a pass there by Marin Grote. You don't often see middle step in and take any of those balls that come off the net. Dimitrova to serve from the near back corner. Floats it down. Sends it up, hits it with her left. De La Cruz keeps it alive. Omaha with Nunaviller. Chasse keeps it going. Sponsel sends it back. It's hit, and it goes 
I believe a little too strong and out of bounds from Kayla Caffey and we're tied at 29. This is the overtime equivalent for volleyball. At least what it looks like in the second set. Omaha floats it over. Evans with a chance to respond. Dimitrova blocked out in front and the Novas get the lead. Danielle Hart right there doing what she does best, lining up with that left arm of Emilia Dimitrova, taking away her open shot. A question of a who will blink first. Jess Shaven Landsman to serve for the Novas. It's set point for Omaha. Over it goes, Abbott handles. Evans back to Abbott. It goes down and we're tied at 30. You gotta be kidding me with the second set. 30 to 30 here in GR. Simone Abbott to serve for the rise. Sends it over. De La Cruz gets it for Nunaville. Her block kept alive by GR. Can the rise take advantage? Evans to Chasse. Gets it right back and De La Cruz keeps it alive. The rise being denied. Omaha. Sends it over. It's kept alive by Evans. They look for Chasse. Handled by the Novas. Who will blink first? Sponsel dives to keep it alive. Chasse with a free ball over. The Novas looking for none of Eller. Blocked and the Rise have the lead. What a beautiful block there by Marin Grote staying at home base and then making her hard move to that pin and closing. Marin Grote with what could be the play of the night. Simone Abbott with a chance to end the longest set in Grand Rapids Rise history. A couple of low bounces, spins it in her right hand and pounds it over. Handled by Omaha, Nunaviller gets it down and we're tied at 31. This is the set that never ends. Both teams are doing a great job of reading the other team's defense and really making the defensive players move. None of Iller to serve. Sends it skyward. Couple rise players there. Omaha keeps it alive. Essentially a free ball comes over. Evans for Chasse. Little tap handled by the Novas. De La Cruz has to give it away. Sponsel, Evans with options. Near side, Dimitrova wasn't expecting it. Handled by Omaha for De La Cruz, and it goes down. Betty De La Cruz has put the Novas at set point. None of Iller to serve once again. I don't think Dimitrova thought that was coming her way. No, nah, definitely not. I think Dimitrova thought Ashley Evans was going to go outside with Natalia Valentin Anderson blocking Claire Chalsea there. None of Iller to serve. Soars across. Abbott handles Evans for Chasse. Didn't have it timed right. Omaha with a chance to put it away. De La Cruz saved by Abbott. Sponsel floats it for Chasse. They need it. It's saved there by Kendall White. De La Cruz has to free ball it over. Sponsel, Evans for Chasse. It's hit a mile high, and Omaha can get it with De La Cruz. Saved, Evans back for Chasse. Shoots it, and Omaha keeps it alive with Kendall White. De La Cruz for the win. Blocked out in front. Danielle Hart partially blocked. Evans for Sponsel. Grand Rapids putting it in Chasse's hands. De La Cruz keeps it alive. Omaha sends it through, Sponsel saves, Chasse keeps it and gets it right back. Evans for Chasse again, Omaha not being denied. Hart pounds it through and the Novas survive in the second set. What a rally by both sides, really just putting all of their heart on the floor there. And I think this crowd in Grand Rapids, who is now standing and clapping, just simply showing their appreciation for the exceptional show we just saw in set number two. 33-31, Omaha with the win in the second set. We are all knotted up at one. 
kind of get the feeling it might not be the last time we play past the normal allotted point total. Take a timeout. It's intermission. KO and I are back to talk about it when we come back here on Rise Radio. Oh, it's huge. Omaha is going to go into the intermission having, into the third set, having just a huge amount of momentum on their back. They just beat the GRIs in such a gritty fight that they're now, in their minds, probably ready to take on the world. And at no way was it more evidenced by what we saw in the moments after that last point was notched by Omaha. It felt like both sides were completely gassed. We saw players on both ends essentially just sprawled out on the hardwood. I'd imagine that it's a good time to have an intermission right about now. Yeah, definitely. A play as long as that in volleyball, when you're constantly based to release, going to the net, transitioning off the net, running all around, it really does take the breath out of you no matter how much in shape you are, honestly. So at the end, you saw multiple players breathing heavy, ready for a break. I mean, if it wasn't the end of the game, I would expect one of the team's coaches to take a time out there. Now, I'll say this, and for whatever it's worth, there is this constantly at play. Right now, the Rise have one challenge left. Omaha's already used both of them, and that's kind of one of the prices you pay for getting down after losing a first set, being down in a second set. You sort of have to pull out all the stops, so who knows if that's going to rear its head in the moment of the either third, fourth, or fifth set, but the Novas don't have any more chances to appeal anything. 
correct. That's why it's so vital that the players, you know, on the court, sometimes you have the feeling of, yes, I know that this girl touched the ball. So it's very important that you are pretty transparent with your coach so that they're not wasting these challenges for no reason. Grand Rapids, so far a perfect 2-0 and on their season. And as a matter of fact, it's not the only game going on in the PVF tonight. When we come back, we'll tell you about what other matches happening in the Pro Volleyball Federation here tonight. Multiple games on the same day, first time in league history. We'll talk about it when we come back. We are tied one set apiece, getting ready for set number three on the other side of this timeout, right here on Rise Radio, presented by University of Michigan Health West. Our day has dawned. A new horizon is upon us. Inspired by the many who came before us, together on a path to achieve something extraordinary. Do you hear the groundswell? We are at the forefront of a revolution. Empowered, inspired, together. We didn't get here alone. This is our responsibility. We are creating a new major league on the greatest stage volleyball has ever seen. Pro Volleyball Federation is real pro volleyball. Now is our time. Communities will come together. History will be made. We are one. Today, we are inspired. Today, the light shines on us. Today marks the beginning of the next chapter. And we're writing it together. From club or high school courts to championship arenas, Spalding has been the trusted partner of volleyball players for generations. Our team of dedicated professionals isn't just about selling equipment, we're about supporting your journey. Spalding offers a comprehensive range of high performance systems, nets, and accessories meticulously crafted for every skill level, budget, and playing style. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Spalding's knowledgeable staff will guide you, equip you, and cheer you on every step of the way. You know, ah, the, the big yeah. girl doesn't play in the back row, but you do see now um, at the professional level, the middle has to serve and has to play defense. There's no out for them with that libero to come in in the different color jersey to step in and serve and pass for them. 
setters got jokes over here. Let's start the third set here from Van Andel. Thank you very much for making us a part of your Monday night. Good crowd here at Van Andel Arena. As the Rise attempts to keep their perfect record intact. Marin Grote checks out the libero. Sarah Sponsel is in. The two teams switch sides for set number three. This is exactly how things looked in the Rise match against Atlanta back on Friday as Grote returned. Rise took the first set, dropped the second set before taking numbers three and four to pick up their first road win in franchise history. Danielle Hart comes out as Bird Coon gets her rotation sorted. And Marin Grote and the rise, ready to serve to start set number three. Winner of this set will have a chance to win it in the fourth. Grote runs into a right-handed serve, tips the back of the net. De La Cruz swats it over, kept alive there. Free ball for Omaha. White to Valentin Anderson, and it's pounded too long and out of bounds. Vuchkova thought that it may have been deflected. So did the Novas, but they're out of challenges, and the Rise have a 1-0 lead in set three. You knew it was going to matter at some point, but you didn't know it was going to matter in the very first point of the very next set. Now I think Bird Coon wants to look at it. Looks like we do have a challenge going to the video board. They're challenging a block touch on the outside blocker. It was already the thought that there were already two challenges used by Omaha. So I guess this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Does Omaha have the ability to challenge this? Well, they're going to talk about it. If nothing else, that would tell us that They can do it, and you can see now as we get a look at the replay. It doesn't look like it was touched there, but it's so fast. And I think one thing that we're all learning about volleyball with the PVF is just how frenzied of a pace this sport truly has. Yeah, it's definitely a quick twitch sport. You see Kayla Gaffey there, barely over the net, getting there to close. She was just a little bit late. Kathy George is now all the way up to the near sideline, trying to ask what the delay is. She's ready to get this game on the road and rolling right now. We've already had the 10 minute intermission, so as this whole situation gets sorted, Rise think they've got the first point of the third set. They had control of the first set pretty much throughout. Winning that set, 25-22. Omaha dictated the terms of engagement in the second set. It was the Supernovas to pick up a 33-31 second set win. Omaha right now is just work, looking at what rotation, what lineup is working for them. You did see the setter switch. Um, at the beginning of this game, it was Natalia Valentin Anderson coming.
how they respond here. So that's another missed challenge for the Novas. Rise serving it with Groat, who keeps it alive. Caffey popping it up for Chasse. Blocked. It falls in, and a point for the Novas ties us at one. Marin Groat there with the dig with one arm. You know, wouldn't love to teach my little players that. I always tell them to pass with two arms, but it seemed to work out there for her pretty well. Yeah, it's almost like teaching the baseball outfielder to catch the fly ball with two hands as opposed to one. Can't wait. I'm going to go back to practice there and be like, Coach, one of the professionals does it. Natalia Valentin Anderson pushes it over with the right hand, saved there by Shaw Say. Chance at the net, Omaha keeps it alive. They've done a lot of that. Betty De La Cruz, far side, kept alive by Dimitrova. Right side, Chasse with the attack, handled there by Omaha. Valentin Anderson pushes it, saved there by GR. Opposite side attack, Dimitrova. Omaha keeps it alive with Natalia Valentin Anderson. Other side, and it's pounded through. A point, Omaha. That looked like Shaven Landsman. Two to one, Novas over GR. Tana White's doing such a great job for Omaha on reading the attackers on the GR rise. If you notice, as a libero back there, she doesn't take many steps, which means she's just really visualizing the court and watching, knowing the tendencies of her hitters. She's such a great libero. Valentine Anderson serves for the Novas. Spins it with two hands and pushes it down. Up she goes with a right hand, gets it across. Abbott keeps it alive. Chasse. Couldn't send it in bounds, and it goes away astray. Omaha three, Grand Rapids one here in the third set. Big set for momentum after Omaha stole it back with a late set victory in the second. Valentin Anderson to serve once more. Abbott sets it up. Evans going near side. Chasse a little bit too close to the net. And it's 4-1, Omaha off to a good start, clearly capitalizing on what they did in the second set. Natalia Valentin Anderson is doing a great job of breaking down the GR Rise serve receive right here. She's really going after Simone Abbott. Three straight points for Omaha. They find Chasse, Evans at the net. It's a fight, and it's won by Evans. That's what you like to see by a setter. Ashley Evans is a 6-1 setter. Her ability to put up a great block up there going up, pressing over, it's fantastic. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Ashley Evans, helps GR get the point. Now she serves. Sends it to the 10-foot line. De La Cruz helps set up her teammate. And that's Vuchkova to make it a 5-2 Omaha lead. Vuchkova does a great job of getting off of the ground quick and having her arm up in there. She almost hit that ball directly out of Valentin Anderson's hands. Betty De La Cruz to serve. Take a look at the wicked serve she puts for. Pounds it. This time, it hits the line. Point and an ace for De La Cruz. With that top spin serve, it's, it's ability to drop in that back corner. You almost feel like it's coming at your chest or you think it's out. De La Cruz has already had a couple of aces tonight. Tips off the nut, and it goes near side. Caffey blocked by Vuchkova, and the Novas taking command of set three. Seven to two, the rise deficit is five. Timeout, Grand Rapids. Kathy George and her squad has some things to figure out. It's Omaha seven, Grand Rapids two in the third set. We're tied at one here on Rise Radio.
Cruz certainly is. One of the best volleyball players on the planet. She just picked up an ace a moment ago, and it's still her serve with the rise, trying to dig out of an early hole in their third set. And another ace for De La Cruz. They're really going after Simone Abbott in the back row. Eight to two Omaha. And De La Cruz right now getting everything she wants. She had some big moments at the end of that long second set. Another float over. This one into the net. And finally, a little mercy for GR. It's 8-3. to three. Their deficit is 5. Right there, that's exactly what GR Rise was hoping to get. Betty De La Cruz missing that serve. Kind of giving, shifting the momentum over to the GR Rise. That six-point deficit was the largest in Rise history. Chasse serves. De La Cruz keeps it alive. Posts it by the net. Blocked and a point. GR's got back-to-back -back points, and it's eight to four. They're down only four. Who other than Amelia Dimitrova over there getting so pumped with that block that was very nicely set. Now the former Louisville Cardinal, Claire Chasse, with another serve for GR. Pounds it over. It's kept towards the back, De La Cruz. Puts it near the net, it's a free ball, and Evans gives it right back. De La Cruz, Omaha sets up. Shaven Landsman denied. Evans with a quick sneak attack from Caffey. Omaha keeps it alive. Ends up in the back row, Chasse. Evans with options for Dimitrova. A whistle, and it looked like a net touch that time on Omaha. I don't think they thought they touched the net. I also don't think Omaha's got any more challenges left. Eight to five, three straight points for the rise. They needed that. Chasse pushes it over, handled. Quick shot up in the front, and it falls through for the Novas. That stops a 3-0 rise run. Nine to five Omaha in the third set. Tied up at one. Kendall White comes out for Omaha. Christina Vuchkova to serve for the Novas. Three bounces and a right-hand swat. Over past the 10-foot line, Abbott Evans gets it to Dimitrova. And too strong, out of bounds. Rise doing a lot of looking over to the official. It's 10 to five Omaha. I think they may have thought the Novas got a hand on that. Yeah, it's so weird not to see any line judges that every time you ultimately just have to look up at that up rough to see the call. Buchkova serves again. Too strong. Abbott did a great job of knowing exactly where she was on the floor. Service air. 10 to 6. The Rise need a run. Let's go, Let's go, Out goes Sponsel. Kayla Caffey to serve for GR. Pounds it with a right hand in the middle. Dug out by De La Cruz. Looking for Nunaveller. And she puts it down. Point Omaha. And the Novas able to get some of that lead back. They're up five. Grand Rapids trails 11 6. Jess Shaven Landsman to serve from the right side of the middle. They work from left to right. Over it goes. Near side, Abbott digs it out. Going for Dimitrova, wide open lane, and she makes it work. Puts it right in the middle, and it's 11-7. Dimitrova gets the serve after getting the point for GR. From the far back corner, left hand serve. Handled by White to the near side, Hart. Sends it across, GR with a chance for the back row. De La Cruz survives it and keeps it alive. A block out in front. That's Simone Abbott and a point for GR. It's a three point deficit for the Rise. Rise have had three straight points with Chasse serving. Now they're trying to do it again with their other franchise player and Amelia Dimitrova. Swats it across, De La Cruz keeps it alive, and it's blocked down in front. It was Abbott and Marin Grote, three in a row for the rise. It's a two-point set. 
Great job by Marin staying home, knowing that the setter is front row and she can't attack it. Dimitrova. Trying to find four score. This time it ends up in the net. Service air. So tough when you've got all that ground to try to make up. And even though they got three straight, the Novas get one back. Nunna Miller dug out by Abbott. Evans keeps it up. Abbott sends it across, looking for De La Cruz on the Omaha side. Sponsel saves it, looking for Kayla Caffey. Check that, that's Abbott. Dug out, Omaha, looking back for De La Cruz. Blocked, Omaha survives it. Back to Betty De La Cruz, taps it down. And looks like a net infraction. Grand Rapids gets the point. A little too close that time, Kayo? Yeah, I think she's got the net with her body. But Betty did a great job earlier in that rally of re reusing a play. As you watched her, she didn't try to hit it as hard as she could. She swiped it into the block, going directly back at her players. So it was actually an intentional swipe back to her team so that they could recycle that play. 12-10, Supernova's lead. Down it goes. Chance for Betty De La Cruz. Kept alive by Abbott. Sponsel going near side for Chasse. She sends it down. It's a one point set here in the third. Sponsel being a beach player has such a great relevance of the court, being able to find her outside attacker setting that ball up. Simone Abbott looking to tie it up for the rise. That one was coming in hot. De La Cruz, a free ball comes over. Evans looking for Chasse, blocked, and down it goes. We are all tied at 12. Claire Chasse knots it up here in the third set. Time out, Omaha Supernovas. Tied at 12, here from Van Andel in the big set number three on Rise Radio. Walkers are pushing back into six, stopping that ball. Daniel Hart is a great attacker from behind the setter, so really finding where she is and not floating with that block. Danielle Hart, the national champion at Wisconsin. The 6'3 middle blocker from Virginia Beach. Made her presence felt here tonight. Simone Abbott tosses it up and trying to give her rise the lead. Omaha with Valentine Anderson. Save there. The rise looking for Chasse, taps it. De La Cruz says, I'll take that. From the back row, block out in front for Marin Grote. The rise have their first lead of the third set. Marin's really coming alive with the blocks there. She noticed that both of the front row attackers were on the back side of the setter. So really, Natalia Valentine Anderson had nowhere else to go but that back row attack with Brooke Nunnaviller. Simone Abbott getting comfortable back there behind the serve line. On the near side, tosses it up, moves it across. Down goes Kendall White to keep it alive. Vuchkova, check that Shaven Landsman there. Chasse on the other side, tattoos it. Air Claire gives the rise a two point lead. Kendall White not happy about that play right there. She just about had it. She kept going into that seam. Her and Brooke Nunaviller were running into each other. Claire Chasse did a perfect, a great job of putting that ball in between two players in that back row. Abbott tosses it up. 
Hits it over. Great play by White to keep it alive. Looking for Betty De La Cruz. That one just sneaks into the back left corner, and it's a point for the Supernovas. Betty De La Cruz there with the, what I call it, a no-looky cookie. She was facing Kraus Gore, able to thumb up that swing and take it down the line. 14-13, GR by a point. Omaha serves. Vuchkova sends it into the netting, and it's 15-13 Grand Rapids. As Omaha, that's not a serve that you really want to miss. You just took over the momentum, and now it just got taken right away by that missed serve. Marin Grote serves. Up it goes. Over it goes. None of Iller handles. Valentin Anderson. Pushes it down and gives the Supernovas a point. Rise, lead it 15-14. Christina Vukova has really been an impact player for the Omaha. It was a great pickup by them when she finished her Chinese league. Valentin Anderson moves it through. Evans looking for Chasse and a block. Near side from Jess Shaven Landsman, the former Iowa State Cyclone and LSU Tiger. We're tied at 15. Claire really had Claire Shossi really had nowhere else to go, and Shaven Landsman did a great job of sealing that net, so Claire couldn't see anything but her arms. Rise set up shop, saved there by Kendall White. Valentin Anderson for Nunaviller. Kept alive by GR, sponsored towards the net. Chasse sends it across. Valentin Anderson a bump set. And it's slammed down by Shaven Landsman. Back to back points from the near corner. Omaha leads at 16 15. the Supernovas with the lead over GR. Valentin Anderson handled and a quick attack from Evans. Handled by Omaha. De La Cruz looking for room. Sponsel with a dive to keep it alive. Free ball for Omaha. Valentin Anderson near side. And it is pounded through. Jess Shaven Landsman is taking over. Three straight points to give Omaha a two-point lead in set three. What a powerful swing there down the line by Shaven Landsman. Natalia Valentin Anderson did a great job of really splitting that block, causing a seam for her. The three-time All-American, Jess Shaven Landsman. GR trying to stop the three-point surge. Chasse able to do just that. Kendall White unable to handle the attack, and it's 17-16. Supernova's lead is one. We're tied one set apiece. Serve goes to GR. Ashley Evans. Ashley Evans gets it. I would say that stops the Omaha run, but it also basically stops the Shaven Landsman run. She's been on fire. Evans from the right side of the middle. Handled Nunaviller near side. And a point. Guess who? Jess Shaven Landsman. <laughs> what a third set for her. Yeah, she really saw that seam in the block. Kayla Caffey not able to close, swung quickly, able to get that right in between the two blockers. Supernovas with a two-point advantage. 18-16 in set three. Betty De La Cruz with that wicked right-hand serve. Sponsel sends it over. That chasse from Ashley Evans. Just how you draw it up. Pounds it down. It's a one-point set. Claire Chasse, one of the preseason members of the PVF first team. An opportunity to serve. It's been a workout for the floor monitors today. Really just shows you how hard each team is working, that their sweat is getting all over the floor. Omaha does not want to fall to one and three, coming in as a preseason favorite, and it shows. Here's an ace from Chasse. Off the net, it falls in, and we're tied at 18. 
as a coach, you really teach your servers back there to get as close to the net as possible, making it harder for the serve receivers to pick up that serve. So a let serve right there by Claire Chausse, that's great. And Claire Chausse give the rise the lead. This has been such a tightly contested match throughout. Chasse skies it through. Omaha sets up near side. It's too long. Out of bounds it goes. Rise get the point and a 19-18 lead. That was Shaven Landsman. I think we all knew it was going that way. She's got the hot hand right now. And why wouldn't she continue to feed her? The three-time all Big 12 selection. Chasse, another shot over. Handled, Valentin Anderson, near side, partially blocked. Chasse keeps it alive for GR, looking for Dimitrova. Blocked and handled by the Supernovas. Near side, Nana Miller. Sponsel keeps it going, Evans looking for Abbott. Kept alive, Omaha, Nana Miller again. Chasse from the back, keeps it going. Abbott with an absolute fastball. The Novas keep it going. But their return is out of bounds. Nana Miller tried to get it down, and Nana Miller couldn't do it. Two-point lead for GR. What a power swing there by Simone Abbott. And then on the other end of it, Natalia Valentin Anderson. Being able to get that ball up, beautiful. 20 to 18, Chasse in rhythm. Over it goes. Supernova set up shot, blocked out in front, and it comes down, point GR. And we have a Supernova slowing it up. That's the libero, Kendall White, the 5'7", former Penn State Nittany Lion. The native of Zionsville, Indiana. Very slow to her feet for the Omaha Supernovas. Looks like she might have got caught in the coverage there of Christina Vuchkova. Christina's up so quick and fast that <laughs> when she came into cover, I think she might have just got hit in the face, it looks like. 21-18, the rise of the three-point advantage in the third set. We're all tied at one. We take a timeout right here on Rise Radio. It's Grand Rapids Rise Volleyball from Van Andel Arena. It's set number three. We are tied, one set apiece. GR with a 21-18 lead over the Omaha Supernovas. Dan Hasty, Katie Olson. The Rise had a lead kind of similar to this in the first set. They were able to put it away. In the second set, the Rise were essentially playing catch-up, but now it feels like the tide's turned and the momentum is back on the Rise side, Katie. Yeah, we are, but I wouldn't say anything too quickly. Omaha does not stop fighting. Shaven Landsman has been huge in this game. I would look for the ball to go to her. Chasse pounds it across. Omaha sets it up from the front. Chasse shoots it right back. A free ball for Omaha. Near side, and it's down. Chasse couldn't get it in the back row. Just Shaven Landsman, who has been the hero for the Supernovas in set number three, makes it a two-point game. All right, right here, you're going to see a sub. Tori Dixon coming in for Daniel Hart. Tori Dixon is... An amazing blocker. She, I think they're making a blocking sub here at the front row. Looking for a little defense up front. Kendall White also checked out. Omaha gets it over. Is it too long? You bet. Tried to get it into the near right corner. Too long in the rise. Have a 22-19 lead. That's a service error. Sarah Sponsel comes out. Kayla Caffey. Throws it up, serves it over. De La Cruz handles. Omaha, tough time getting it set. Tap over. Return by Grand Rapids. Another chance for the Supernovas. Near side, Shaven Lansman. Into the net it goes. Kept alive, but not for long. Down it goes. Point Supernovas. It's 22-20 GR. 
anytime you get the ball into the net like that, it's tough to get it out. Yeah, you really got to be able to read how that ball is going into the net, if it's going to come straight down, if it's going to sit in there a little bit. It's a very hard task to, <laughs> to handle there. And we just saw Paige Briggs make the serving sub over here. So here she comes in the back row for Shaven Landsman. Serve for the Supernovas. Grand Rapids looking to get the three-point advantage. Near side, a block out front. Omaha keeps it alive. That one a little bit too hot for GR to handle. And another point for the Supernovas. 22-21, GR's lead is one. We saw it in the second set. Omaha seemingly had a big answer whenever they needed it. Yeah, I would say right now, GR Rise needs to take advantage of Natalia Valentin Anderson being in the front row. Paige Briggs serves, and she aces it to tie us at 22. We saw an ace from her in the second set as well. That's her specialty, and she's making good on it. Yeah, she's really been a great player for the Omaha Supernovas. When Brooke Nunneveller was out, she came in and had a phenomenal game. So her ability to come into this game and do exactly what she needs to do back there in that service line is a great addition for them. Timeout, Grand Rapids, 22-22 hour score. We'll keep it right here. Dan Hasty, Katie Olson, having a whole bunch of fun here from Van Andel Arena tonight. Fun is a relative term when you're Katie Olson. You kind of live and die with every single point. This is probably more stressful for you than anything else, is it not? Yeah, a little stressful here. I mean, I'm a little biased to Grand Rapids. Love, love the head coach, love the team that we put together, and love the girls playing. I have had a chance to speak with a lot of them and kind of grown a connection there, so I am slightly biased here. But I've also watched a lot of the players on the Supernovas play collegiately. So, uh, you know, it's just great, honestly, to see where volleyball is, how it's come. Also want to say hello to all of our good friends watching on YouTube tonight. Our attendance for this contest tonight, 4,060, 4060 on a Monday night in downtown Grand Rapids. We are tied at 22. The serve for Paige Briggs and the Supernovas. Soars it over. Abbott handles. Rise set up Dimitrova, who sends it through, and it's a point for GR. Look at Dimitrova over there with that passion. She's like, set me this freaking ball. I'm going to put it away. She had so many chances in that second set, and Omaha seemingly had an answer at every turn. Now it goes to the 17-year pro Amelia Dimitrova to serve from the right corner. The lefty moves it across. Omaha looking for Nana Miller. She throws it down. 23-23. She gets the point. We are all tied up. Next point becomes set point. But who will have it? I feel like we've been here before, haven't we, Dan? Tied 23-23. We very well could be again. Nunneviller sends it over. Grand Rapids with Evans looking for Abbott. She finds the near corner point, GR. It's set point for the rise. What a nice thumb down swing there by Simone Abbott, just getting it outside of the reach of Kendall White. She couldn't have picked that ball up and walked it over any better. 24-23, GR. They bring in Shannon Scully to serve. A chance to get the momentum back for GR. Near the net, De La Cruz finds the point, bangs it over, and we're tied at 24. Set point has only meant so much in the last two sets. But we will play beyond the 25 standard. Supernovas with Tori Dixon. Nearly an ace dug out there by Grand Rapids. Shaw Shay gives the rise another set point as she throws it down with a swing of the right hand. What a beautiful cut shot back to that line when she was taken inside. Really caught Shaven Landsman off guard. Marin Grove, the former Washington Husky to serve for the rise. 
straightens out the right hand and moves it over. Omaha looking for De La Cruz again. They keep it alive, a great opportunity. Chasse saved by Omaha. How did they keep it alive? It goes through. Grote, Evans with options, wants Chasse. De La Cruz keeps control. Right side, it's blocked and out of bounds. Last touched by GR, we're tied at 25. How did they keep the ball alive by the middle and the out of bounds area right in front of us? Yeah, Natalia Valentin Anderson did a great job of contorting her body to avoid that ref stand and save that ball. If they win this match tonight, we might go back to that play right there. Grand Rapids trying to get set point back again. Chasse's chance is blocked. They look for another attack. And this time it falls for Claire Chasse. The third straight set point for the rise. And with how these last two sets have gone, if GR can't figure out a way to get one more point here, it could really swing the fortunes of this match. Ashley Evans, the former Boilermaker of Purdue to serve. Handled beyond the 10 foot line, De La Cruz caught it in a funny spot. Free ball for GR, a chance to win it. Saved on the Dimitrova swing. Right side, pounded down, and the Novas tie us at 26 with Jess Shaven Landsman. She's really becoming the go-to player right now in this set for the Omaha Super Novas. And now look who's going back to serve. You don't want to see Betty De La Cruz in a situation like this. Tied at 26, and one of the best players on the planet looking to tee it up. Far right corner. Sends it skyward, jumps into it. Sponsel handles, Evans for Chasse. And down it goes, it was deflected and uncontrolled. The Rise have the set point for the fourth time here in the third. Those high hand swings are so hard to defend back there because you're expecting it to come straight down so your momentum is going forward. Then it went to touch the top of your middle blocker's hands and shoots backwards, it's a little bit harder there. Chasse at set point, we're tied at one here in the third. Chasse over it goes. Omaha looking to even it up, and they do. Shaven Landsman. Check that, that's none of Eller. Makes it 27 all. Right now we're really seeing a battle of the outsides. Vuchkova to serve. Tori Dixon returns for the Supernovas. Vuchkova making her Supernovas debut. Puts it down. Evans looking for Abbott. It goes down, and it's a point for the Rise. Lots of set points, and yet the Rise have not been able to get the one point they've needed. What a couple of sets we've had here in numbers two and three. Caffey moves it over from the serve line. Right side, none of Eller. Saved for now. Out of bounds it goes. We're tied at 28. Just couldn't control that hot shot from Nunaviller. 28-28. Shaven Landsman serves for the Supernovas. Over it goes, looking at Abbott. Keeps it alive, looking for Dimitrova. Blocked out in front, and guess who? Tori Dixon gives the Novas set point. Tori Dixon has been such a decorative blocker since she her time at the University of Minnesota. This is the first supernova set point after four straight opportunities for the rise. Can Omaha steal the third set? Shaven Landsman towards Chasse. And Omaha takes the third set with a come from behind victory. 30 to 28. And Omaha, just one set away from a road victory here in GR. Our day has dawned. A new horizon is upon us.
Inspired by the many who came before us, together on a path to achieve something extraordinary. Do you hear the groundswell? We are at the forefront of a revolution. Empowered, inspired, together. We didn't get here alone. This is our responsibility. We are creating a new major league on the greatest stage volleyball has ever seen. Pro Volleyball Federation is real pro volleyball. Now is our time. Communities will come together. History will be made. We are one. Today, we are inspired. Today, the light shines on us. Today marks the beginning of the next chapter. And we're writing it together. Rally with us! From club or high school courts to championship arenas, Spalding has been the trusted partner of volleyball players for generations. Our team of dedicated professionals isn't just about selling equipment, we're about supporting your journey. Spalding offers a comprehensive range of high-performance systems, nets, and accessories meticulously crafted for every skill level, budget, and playing style. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Spalding's knowledgeable staff will guide you, equip you, and cheer you on every step of the way. Ready to start set number four here from Van Andel Arena. The Grand Rapids rise in the Omaha Supernovas. It was GR that took the first set, 25-22. Omaha has needed extra time to take down GR in both the second and third sets, 33-31 and 30-28. Dan Hasty, thanks for joining us. Katie Olson to my right. John Ilk back in our studios in downtown Grand Rapids. And now GR is going to have to dig deep a little bit because KO, they've never been in this spot before, down two sets to one. They have not, but Omaha has, so they're a veteran team here in the five setters. So Grand Rapids really has to come out strong. Our passing broke down a little bit towards the end. You saw Omaha having, they were in system a lot on the serve receive, whereas the GR Rise were not as much. So I think it'd be very important for the GR Rise to come out, really take advantage of that serve receive. Omaha gets to serve. They serve to start the fourth set here in GR. The center, Natalia Valentin Anderson. She starts us off in the fourth set. No more margin for air for the rise. They look for Chasse, and that's how you start the fourth set if you're on the GR side. It's Chasse for a one nothing lead. Big swing of the right arm to give the rise the first point of the fourth set. Looks like we have a middle switch over here on the GR rise side. We have Nia. That's Nia Grant. First time we've seen her out there. So Kathy George trying to change some things up. A chance and a dive and Grant unable to move it across. What do you think Kathy George is looking for by inserting Grant here in the fourth set? I think she's looking to put up a bigger block in the front row. Kayla Caffey is only six feet tall and really getting beat on those pins. As Grant tries to get herself in a rhythm, Betty De La Cruz serves off the top of the net and Grant can't handle it. Out of bounds it goes, Supernovas take a 2-1 lead. That was a little tough with everything happening at the net so quickly. Nia Grant, the former Penn State Nittany Lion, two-time champion. Also had some time overseas. De La Cruz pushes this one into the netting, and we're tied at two. 
plate. She does not hit change-ups, nothing but fastballs. If you want soft serve, go get ice cream. Ashley Evans serves for the rise. Pounds it off the netting. Over it goes. Omaha setting up with a quick attack right in the middle and a point for the Supernovas. Vuchkova, the newest Supernova, makes it 3-2 to two, Omaha. Boy, has she had an impact on their team. Novas have lost two of their first three sets. The preseason favorite trying to knock off the undefeated rise. Vuchkova serves. Sponsor in the blue libero jersey keeps it alive. A whistle. And at the net, looks like a net infraction. I think they got Nia Grant that time. Four to two Omaha. How hard is it coming off the bench if you're Nia Grant in a situation like that? Two sets down, so she went through warm-ups about an hour ago, so she's pretty not warm. <laughs> pretty not warm. I like that. <laughs> Vuchkova serves. Abbott handles. Looking for Chasse, and that time, a miss hit, out of bounds. Five to two, Omaha. Now remember, the Novas had a big lead early in the second set. It was a six point advantage before the rise came back. But the Novas capitalizing on momentum in each of the last two sets after those big wins in sets two and three. Vuchkova across, Evans finds Nia Grant. She gets her first point. First point of the night for the native of Warren, Ohio. Five to three, Omaha. Gives the serve to Claire Chasse. Spins it in her left hand. Jumps up on her way over and hits it with her right. De La Cruz puts it to the net. A slam by Tori Dixon. And an easy point for Omaha. And that one was on a tee for her. Six to three, Supernovas have doubled up the rise here in the early stages of the fourth set with a two to one lead. Omaha gets it across with Shaven Landsman, near side, Caffey gets the point back for GR as she smokes it at the Supernovas. Marin Grote is back, Sarah Sponsel in the blue libero jersey to the bench. Now the serve for Nia Grant. Stand still serve. Handle De La Cruz. Near side for Dixon. Pounds it in. It's nearly saved by Grant, but they said it got the floor first. 7-4 Omaha. Nia Grant checks back out. As they return Sarah Sponsel trying to play a little defense here. None of Iller off the top of the net. It's saved momentarily, but there's not much the Rise can do. The Novas take an eight to four lead on an ace. Brooke None of Iller, the native of Chandler, Arizona, the former Oregon Duck. Eight to four Omaha with the lead in the fourth set, already holding a 2 1 advantage. None of Iller pounds it with a right hand. Handled by Abbott. Evans looking back row. That chasse, a little too long. Point Omaha. Nine to four Supernovas as the rise deficit continues to grow. Got to give a lot of credit to the Omaha Supernovas tonight. Whenever they've been tested, especially the last two sets, they have responded in an outstanding way. How about a block? Tori Dixon, one of the best in the country, makes it a 10-4 Supernova's lead. Looks like we got a setter sub here for the GR Rise. You have Mac Pedraza coming off the bench for Ashley Evans. I think Kathy George is looking to get a little switch up into the mix of this offense. Mac Pedraza, native of Sunbury, Ohio, played her college ball at Penn State and Ohio State. Chance handled by Omaha near the 10-foot line. There's a block. Marin Grote got some help from Amelia Dimitrova, and it's a point for the Rise. 10 to 5 Omaha. The rise are running out of time. They've got Dimitrova on the right side of the back line, ready to serve. 
with a left hand, gets it across. Valentine Anderson for De La Cruz, kept alive there. Abbott pushes it over, Omaha with a sneak attack from their setter, and Natalia Valentine Anderson puts it down. Omaha 11, GR5. Omaha with a two to one set lead, and the Novas now with their best start to any of these sets tonight. Yeah, the Omaha Supernovas are really just making the GRI scramble and guess what's happening over there. The GRI, they're having a couple of hitting errors that are really putting them in the rut right now. Time out on the floor. Grand Rapids takes it with their head coach, Kathy George. 11 and five Omaha with the lead. We step aside and we'll be back with more from Van Andel Arena on the other side of this timeout. It's Pro Volleyball from GR on the Rise Radio Network. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we're only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. From club or high school courts to championship arenas, Spalding has been the trusted partner of volleyball players for generations. Our team of dedicated professionals isn't just about selling equipment, we're about supporting your journey. Spalding offers a comprehensive range of high-performance systems, nets, and accessories meticulously crafted for every skill level, budget, and playing style. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Spalding's knowledgeable staff will guide you, equip you, and cheer you on every step of the way. Van Andel Arena on Sunday the 18th at 4 o'clock. You can get your tickets at grrise.com. That went a little bit too long, and Grand Rapids did a good job of leaving alone the serve from Torrey Dixon. It's a point for the Rise, make it 11-6. As a coach, that's exactly what you're looking for out of a timeout. Out of a timeout, you hope that the team mixes their serve, and then that's a point for you. They call that the coach's point. Simone Abbott to serve, and hers goes into the net. The Rise got one, but they give it back, 12 to six. Does that count for the other coach too? <laughs> it might. Natalia Valentine Anderson played collegiately at FIU to serve from the right side corner. Slams it through. Rise with a sneak attack. Couldn't get anything they wanted. Omaha with a chance to respond. And they do. From the near side, it's Jess Shaven Landsman. She has absolutely come alive in the last two sets. 13-6 Omaha in set four. They've got a 2-1 lead. Valentine Anderson to serve for the Supernovas. Handled by Abbott, right side Grote. Reception by the Novas, they look for Betty De La Cruz. Her shot, just a little bit wide of his line on the left, and it's a point for GR, who's in desperate need of a run at this point. Nia Grant comes back in. A little more size up front as they take Sarah Sponsel, the Olympian, off momentarily. It's a serve for Marin Grot on the rise. As they work from right to left. Handled by Omaha, Valentine Anderson to De La Cruz, taps it over. Rise were ready for it. They look for Chasse, handled. Kendall White to Betty De La Cruz, a little tap, and it falls. But a net infraction, says Point Grand Rapids, and Omaha can't believe it. Looks like they might challenge. And they will. So let's take another look at this. The Rise needing all the help they can get. Right now with a 13 to eight deficit. Fourth set in GR. We're talking about that Atlanta game coming up on Sunday. First 1,000 receive a fleece blanket. Get your tickets at grrise.com. Then it's to the road for the next three matches at San Diego, at Orlando, and then it's back to California to take on San Diego once again. So the Rise will rack up some frequent flyer miles. 
soon I expect we'll get a look at exactly what that challenge holds. Both sides being summoned over to the scorer and our head referee in the middle. They brought Brooke Nunaviller over. They also send Amelia Dimitrova across. Looks like this will be an unsuccessful challenge. Grand Rapids setting up to serve. So the Supernovas lose that appeal. And now Marin Groke gets another chance. Swats it with a right hand. Handled by White near the back row. Right side, Shaven Landsman blocked by Nia Grand on the rise. Get a much needed point. Their deficit trims to four, 13 to nine Omaha. Right there, that's what you like to see as a coach for Kathy, jo as a coach of Kathy George, you have both of your subs coming in and setting that block on Shaven Landsman. Marin Grote would love to get the rise on a run to tighten up the fourth set. Been such an entertaining battle tonight. Grote, too long, service error, 14 to nine, and that's a service error that comes at a tough time for the Grand Rapids rise. Right here, if you're the Grand Rapids Rise, you really want to get on top of this Betty LaCruz serve inside out as quickly as possible. Betty De La Cruz, one of the most talented volleyballers anywhere. She's picked up aces in each of the first three sets. She has yet to find one in the fourth. High arcing serve, slams it. Chasse from the back row, keeps it alive. They go right back to her, and she sends it to the back line. She puts it down. There we go, what a great set there by Mac Pedraza on the out of system pass from Claire Chasse. She really set her up for the best possible view of the court. Shannon Scully in to serve for the rise. Check that. Beg your pardon. That's Mac Pedraza. Fight at the net. Kept alive, looking for Chasse again. A diving play on the near side by Valentine Anderson. Too strong, off Grand Rapids, out of bounds. It's a point on the far corner. Looked like Nunaviller, 15 to 10 Omaha leads. Omaha gets it across with Fuchkova. The rise, looking for a late run here to keep this match going. And instead, a missed block attempt out front and Nunaviller sets it down. The Novas have a six point lead in the fourth set, 16-10. Supernovas so far have answered all of their tests tonight, especially in their last two sets. All the momentum on the Supernova side now. Vuchkova, handled by Abbott. Near side, slammed by Vuchkova. Omaha keeps it going. Nunaviller, saved for a moment. Sponsel, near side, Chasse. And it's blocked, point Omaha. And they have their largest lead in any set tonight. 17-10 Supernovas in the fourth. Who They've got a 2-1 lead. Who other than Tori Dixon there to put up that block? Tori Dixon, the former Minnesota Golden Gopher. 10-year vet of the U.S. national team, and you can see why. Chasse has got a free ball at over. After the serve from the Supernovas, near side, Shaven Landsman swings with the right arm and it's blocked. Omaha has had some issues with some of the calls throughout the course tonight. That time, the Rise get the point. It's 17 to 11 as they try to work their way back into this one. I believe what they were looking for was a net violation on Claire Chausse on the block. Looks like they might challenge it. They're going to the challenge. These challenges are like cell phone minutes. They don't roll over. You may as well use them. So we'll take another look and see exactly if Chausse touched the net 
RKO the way you were talking about. I would ask you to give your opinion beforehand, but we are at the highest <laughs> level of Van Andel Arena, and let alone the game is just so fast. This is why we have instant replay. Yeah, we got Dan over here at the binoculars. Should have had those up. I've got the wide angle lens, and it's my own fault. Let's take a look. Oh, they're saying antenna. Antenna, antenna fault. fault. The call stands, point stays with GR. Now Bird Coon, the interim head coach of the Supernovas, still chatting with our official. And Kathy George is already now approaching the score saying, hey, how many different things are we gonna challenge tonight? And I think it's the multiple facets of one particular play that Kathy George might be talking about. Dimitrova comes over, she chats with our head official. Yeah, so as a player on the court, you can only have one player designated as your team captain to go up to that up official and talk. So that's why you see Dimitrova really being the on the court coach, because Kathy George cannot go in front of that central line. Same thing on the Omaha side, you see Brooke Nunaviller going up to that ref stand. So yes, they were cha challenging the net touch, not the intent touch. I think that's where we got confused there. Well, we were seeing it as it was being shown. It simply said antenna, and now we're talking about the net touch. You can just see how violently that net shakes when there's something going on nearby. But the point stays with Grand Rapids. The serve stays with Claire Chasse. Spins it in her left hand, runs up and hits it over with her right. Handled in the back far corner. Valentine Anderson with a Dixon shot. Instead, Chasse trying to return on the other side, and she does. Back-to-back -back points for the Rise, who are up against it in set four. 17-12, Omaha's lead is five. Chasse serves again. Floats it over. Diving stop, Valentine Anderson. Couldn't get it because Nia Grant was waiting for it in the middle. Point for the rise, they've got three straight. When they absolutely needed it most. It's gonna take a lot more where that came from. And a timeout taken by Omaha. 17-13, the Supernovas with a four point advantage and a 2-1 lead here on Monday night. You've got the Grand Rapids Rise presented by U of M Health West. Tense moments here in the fourth set, two to one. Grand Rapids trailing the Omaha Supernovas, trying to close out their second win of the season. Dan Hasty, Katie Olson, John Hill, back in our downtown Grand Rapids studios. Also, hello to all of you checking us out on YouTube tonight. As the Rise try to get themselves back into the fourth set. They've scored three straight. But being down by seven, the Supernovas have given themselves a whole lot of leeway. Meanwhile, the margin for air almost slim to none for GR. Chasse to serve. Floats it over. Looking for none of Eller. Blocked. Supernovas get it back. Valentine Anderson, near side. Shaven Landsman. Answered there. The rise. Get it to Dimitrova. How about four straight points? As a big swing to the left hand makes it a three point set. When you have such a great blocker like Tori Dixon up there in the front row, it is important as a hitter, as an attacker on the other team to really go for those high hands. And right now the GR Rise are having some success with that. Chasse's fifth straight serve. Pounds it over. 
Valentin Anderson to the near side. Shaven Landsman off the top of the net. Rise look to answer. Simone Abbott blocked. Kept alive. Sarah Sponsel floating it for Dimitrova. A left hand. It goes just out of bounds. Boy, that could not have been much closer. Looks than like that. we're going to have a challenge. I think Emilia Dimitrova thought someone touched it. Yep, we are going to the video board. Let's do it. Feels like some of the biggest moments, and to no surprise, I would imagine that many matches in the PBF going forward will be decided by challenges in the replay system. Boy, and if Dimitrova and the Rise win this challenge, that would take what was a... Moves it over, or check that, page breaks. Dimitrova moves it over. And now on the other side, Nunneveller, great diving play by Chasse. Near side, Abbott smokes it, and the Rise make it a three-point deficit. 18-15, Supernova's lead with a 2-1 lead in the fourth set. Rise are running out of time to trade points. They've got Nia Grant. The overseas champion and the former Penn State Nittany Lion. Stand still serve. Handled near the out-of-bounds line on the right. Blocked out in front. Omaha has to send over a free ball. Chasse looking for Pedraza. Pounded down by Marin Grote in the middle of the net. Two-point deficit. The Rise are coming back here in the fourth set. What a beautiful set by Matt Pedraza in transition, running those middles, really keeping Tori Dixon on her toes on the other side. Rise have six of the last eight points. Nia Grant pushes it over. They look for Nunneveller. Handle, what a play by Nia Grant. Right side, Abbott. And she pounds it through with a swing of the right arm. We've got a one-point game in the fourth set. Wow, that play right there all started by defense by that Nia Grant, a middle coming in and digging that ball, then the save by the net by Mac Pedraza. Really helps be in a 6-2 setter there. Can the Rise tie the fourth set? It's been such a closely contested matchup. Grant moves it over. Valentin Anderson for Tori Dixon, a swing of the right arm, and a point for the Supernovas. Got it over, and Groden Pedraza couldn't get the block. 19-17 Omaha, but a great job by the Rise to tighten this thing up and set four. Nunneveller serves, handled by Grand Rapids. Quick shot at the net, and Marin Grote slams it to the hard one. One point game again. Marin Grote, she was ready. You can tell there's a little chemistry with this unit right now on the GR side. 
Dimitrova to serve from the back right corner for GR. Moving right to left. Pounds it with a left hand. Handled by Kendall White of Omaha. Looking for Betty De La Cruz. Two. No, it's called a point for Omaha. GR must have got a finger on that one, didn't they? Yeah, I'm thinking there was a block touch there because it definitely was out of bounds. Looked like De La Cruz had sent that one too long, but they say GR touched it. Two-point GR deficit. They get it for Chasse, and she gets it with a swing of the right arm from the back 10-foot line. It's a one-point match again. The Rise are not going quietly on this Monday night. Rise have not led much here in the fourth set. They're just trying to tie it at 20. Simone Abbott to serve, hoists it high, shoots it across. Valentine Anderson can't do much with it. Chance at the net for Omaha, looking for De La Cruz, partially blocked. Sponsel keeps it alive. Chasse back towards the net, free ball for Omaha. Valentine Anderson, right side, blocked, but out of bounds. It's a point for the Supernovas. Their lead expands to two. What a run by Christine Bukova. Her ability to pass that ball and then keep running behind the setter and get set for a kill. Valentin Anderson serves it over in the rise set up shot with Marin Grote. She's got it on the line. It's a point for the rise. Marin Grote is coming alive in the fourth set for the rise. Marin Grote says, I can do that too. Now the serve goes to the former Washington Husky. Floats it over, Omaha. Quick set at the net, blocked there by Mia. And on the other side, the rise. Watch Omaha, pound it through with a swing of the right arm of Jess Shaman Lansman, just snuck it in. Now the Novas closing in on match point. They lead it 22-20 in the fourth set. They hold a 2-1 lead. And they've got Betty De La Cruz back to serve for the Supernovas. Floats it up, pounds it across. Handled, near side the net. Sponsel, free ball comes over. Near side, pounded by Shaven Lanceman. Grand Rapids answers back. It's a quick shot from Dimitrova. De La Cruz gets it to the 10 foot line. A free ball for GR. Pedraza, near side. A little bit too hot, Nia Grant. Shoots it out of bounds. She was wide of the line. That's a tough one to put the rise down three. And the Supernovas are just two points away from taking their second match in team history. Betty De La Cruz to serve once more for the Supernovas. Pounds it with that right arm. Handled by GR. Chance at the net. And Nia Grant makes up for it with the point. A swing of the right arm, shoots it down, and it's a two-point deficit for GR. Really love that set choice by Mac Pedraza, just because Nia Grant went a little wide with the last ball, giving her that ball right back, and that builds some confidence up there. Pedraza serves. Ball near the net. Shaven Lanceman can't send it down. Keeping it alive, Pedraza. And it's blocked out in front by Vuchkova. And here comes match point for the Omaha Supernovas. And it goes to a serve for the newest Omaha Supernova. And that's Christina Vuchkova. But first, a Grand Rapids rise timeout. Omaha leads it 2-1. to one. We're in the fourth set. And the Supernovas hold a 24-21 lead over the Grand Rapids Rise. Don't forget, after this one goes final on Rise Radio, we will also give you a look back at this contest. KO will pick her player of the game. She's in charge of that. We'll get you all set for the next Rise match that comes right here at Van Andel Arena coming up on Sunday against the Atlanta Vibe in a rematch of what turned into one of the most surprising road victories for any team in the PVF so far. Yeah, Atlanta's first home match. We were expecting a lot from them, and the GR Rise just overpowered them. 
Although just checking the scores, the Atlanta vibe did take down Orlando in three. So nail biter there, 15-17 in the final. Proves the vibes record to four and one, their only loss coming at the hands of the Grand Rapids Rise on the road last Friday night. The Rise, the Pro Volleyball Federation's last undefeated team. And Christina Vuchkova and the Omaha Supernovas are one point away from sending the Rise to their first defeat. Vuchkova over for Abbott. Pedraza to the right side, Chasse swings, handled by Omaha. A chance to wrap it up with Nunneviller. Saved and kept alive. Chasse with a free ball that comes over. Rise on the defense here. Looking for Nunneviller, taps it. Kept alive momentarily, Sponsel with another free ball. Rise are on their heels here. Tori Dixon taps it over. Sponsel has it go off of her extended right hand. And the Omaha Supernovas are winners on Monday night here in GR. The preseason favorite knocks off the last undefeated squad in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Final score, Omaha over Grand Rapids, three sets to one. KO and I will be back to wrap it up after this on Rise Radio. <laughs>